So here's how you predict the products of a reaction here between copper, solid copper metal, and silver nitrate, AgNO3, which is aqueous, it's dissolved in water. To predict the products, we need to figure out what type of a reaction we have here. So in this case, we have a metal by itself, and then we have a metal and a nonmetal bonded together. So we're thinking single displacement or single replacement reaction. So in that case, the copper would push the silver out. The silver would be all by itself, AG, and that would be a solid. And then the copper, that would be with the nitrate. We'd have CuNO3. But because this is an ionic compound, we need to make sure the charge balances. Typically, copper is going to be a 2 plus and your nitrate is going to be a 1 minus. So I would expect this to be CuNO3-2, copper 2 nitrate. And nitrates, they're very soluble. So this is going to be aqueous. It'll be dissolved in the liquid there. And you'd see the solid silver. You'd actually see silver forming as the reaction took place. So this reaction is actually not balanced. If we want to balance it, we could put a two here. So we'd have two nitrates to balance these two nitrates, but then we'd have two silver. So we better put a two here and that's the balanced equation. So again, if you can classify the type of reaction, then you can predict the products much easier. Make sure your charge balances and you're done. Do note that you could use the activity series to see if this reaction would actually take place. There's a link at the end of this video explaining how to do that. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.